The deciding frame okay. then. The deciding frame. Ted Child and Noon to break. The winner plays Judd Trump over 11 frames with a place in the semi finals at stake. Not a good break off from Unnu. No, weak in, in speed, but I think it's because he hit the bottom red as thick as you could, in fact. It really caught a lot of it. So, it's always a little different in the decider. We've seen Kyron scoring freely in the last two frames, but it doesn't always mean that he's going to do it again here in the frame that he needs to win the match. Well, the big question here is, does the red above the black go? Tip Chai having a look at it. <laughs> Even though position wouldn't have been guaranteed, I think he would have played it it had been potable. Well, the red ball was running a bit loose there. Tep Chaya was looking at the line of the shot before the balls had even stopped rolling. Now, this is an important shot that he's got here. Oh, very good. Very cool. And unquestionably doing damage. Had he missed. It's a good part. Now, how's he going to approach this? Sometimes you just need to just take a little bit extra time. Three. Just to compose yourself. And in the case of Tep Chai, it will literally be a split second longer, perhaps. Spent two frames just watching Kyra and pop balls. So his natural rhythm might not be quite there. Eight. Nine. Thirteen. Fourteen. That's a good shot to play on the blue, not on its spot. <laughs> well, he looked at that red on the black, and it looks like it was. I thought it was quite tight as to whether it went, but I th as Clive rightly says, I think if it have gone, he's already played it on that previous visit. I think it's in the way the black, but that might prove to be the key to this whole frame. That red. Now we can bring it into play. 19. He's a very good player around the black spot. I feel that he's just skirting around the issue of getting to the big colours in this frame. Twenty. Twenty-three. Well, there's your big shot now. He looks like he's playing on the black. So one of those two had to go, and it's the black which goes. Will he move the red away? Probably. 
And you see an example of why he's such a good player. Tip thinker, never refuses to play the big shot at the big moment. 31. And of course, the 32. right shot, same thing. I wasn't interested in, in accumulating 40 or 50, but taking lower value colours. quality of professional needs is the ability to rise to the challenge when you've been kept out for a long time. Well, he's only just got there and he got covered in behind that other red on the one he wants to pop. That was close. 46. Prior to this break, and who hadn't potted a ball for 20 minutes. Yes, and on that basis, anything you can get when a chance comes your way has to be... 53. ...taken very seriously. This is a good break. 54. Now he's where he likes to be, around the black spot. Still got to finish the job off. 51. I think he's... a. Signs here how much better a player he is than he once he was. 61. And he's done it. He's won the match. Five which I don't know, but Karen Wilson will get the chance for even attempt. In the past, we saw glimpses of what he can do. We're seeing more sustained periods of 69. The kind of snooker that Chara knew is capable of playing. Well, that rolled off, I think. That seemed to drop down. Tab I thought it was in when he hit it. Well, he should be enough, nonetheless. That 69 break leaves Wilson needing snookers. One. He came to the table with only 59 still on. Eight. So, a really entertaining match, very high quality. And Neil arrived at 3 1 with a break of 90. Wilson equalised at 3 all with runs of 102 and 98. But in the deciding frame, 